Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we got some crazy news coming out of the Atlanta hip-hop scene. Now, there was a rapper by the name of Archie Eversoul. Now, Archie Eversoul, he blew up with this hit song called We Ready. Now, this is not to be confused with another version of the song that came out by a rapper by the name of Pastor Troy, who was also from Georgia. But Archie Eversoul was an interesting artist and brought his own unique spin and helped build up the South as becoming to the mainstream and, you know, starting to get its appreciation, man. But then eventually Archie Eversoul's song, We Ready, became a regional hit. Then it became just a Southern hit, you know what I mean? Then it became a domestic hit. And now, today, it's one of those songs that you hear in every sports arena throughout the country. It's become one of those songs that was just like during the time that it came out, you knew it was going to be on a Jock Jam CD, you know? Like, sports fans love this song, and it's just one of those get hype type of songs. And it boosted his album sales, and he ended up being a big-time artist in the South. Now, after that, he kind of quieted off, but it seems like today we've got some sad news, man. It seems like, yeah, well, according to reports, that Archie Eversaw lost his life at the age of 37. Now, the details around this are murky at, at best, but man, before we get into the story that I'm going to read from Rolling Out Magazine, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about Archie Eversaw, man. Now, Archie Eversaw is an interesting case, man, because he came into the rap game at a time when the South was still building their reputation within the rap game. And he did nothing but persevere, man. Dude did big things in the game, man. He had an album called Ride With Me that did great. But man, let's actually get to this story about what allegedly happened in him passing away. Now, this story is from Rolling Out Magazine at rollingoutmagazine.com to be exact. And the headline says this. It says, We Ready Rapper Archie Eversall reportedly dead. Now, Archie Eversall, the Atlanta rapper best known for his 2002 hit single, We Ready, has reportedly died. He was 37 years old. His death was first reported by Atlanta radio station Hot 107.9. Now, in Atlanta, that's a well-known radio station, and that's one of the biggest hip-hop stations they got, right? Now, in the Atlanta area, it seems like Archie Eversaw had become somewhat of a, you know, local celebrity. It seemed like a lot of people appreciated him for the hits that he had put out there before, and his presence was still felt locally, even though on the, you know, national level, he wasn't at the star level that he was back in 2002. But let's be for real. It's better to at least have that opportunity to shine and have a hit that big and be recognized and known throughout your, you know, your region or even throughout the country, man, when people dial back and listen to that song at sporting events than anything, man. So rest in peace to do. Now, the story continues by saying this. It says, although the death hasn't been reported by any Atlanta news outlets, many of his close friends publicly mourned his death on the afternoon of April 13th. Okay, so based on what they're saying there, I've got to say this. This hasn't been confirmed by any official news source. You know, Rolling Out Magazine is a music publication. So, man, I, I don't want to put this out there and not put that disclaimer. Like, if this comes out to not be true, but a lot of social media platforms are reporting this, and a lot of people in Atlanta got this trending right now, and they're talking about it. Now, the story also says one associate commented that Eversol had been killed. So they're saying somebody from his camp or somebody who was close to him allegedly said that he had been killed. Now, at 37 years old, you know, and if you go on his social media page, like his pages, he's big on the working out stuff. So, I mean, that kind of, in my mind, it factored out anything crazy, but you never know anybody's situation and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just because you're taking good care of yourself on the outside, I don't know, man. Regardless of what took place, we don't know at this time, but man, like I said, rest in peace to him. Now, the story continues by saying this. The success of We Ready stood the test of time, especially in Atlanta, where the Atlanta United adopted the song as the club's unofficial theme music. So the Atlanta United is the professional soccer team in Atlanta, and they adopted his song We Ready as their unofficial song. Now, like I said in the intro and earlier in the video, We Ready is just one of those songs that gets played at a lot of sporting events, you know, especially during the time period that it came out. Even leading up, not as much recently because now they're more recent with their with their playlists. Like they usually have a DJ, like if you go to an NBA basketball game or whatever, and they're real recent with the songs that they play. But during a long period, I'm talking about maybe like a decade or so, 
he had a, he had like sport arenas on lock with them playing We Ready. You know what I mean? Now the story also continues by saying this. It says he eventually made a single, United We Conquer, which was the official theme song of the team. Eversol's Twitter and Instagram avatar are both selfies of himself in United jerseys. So he has selfies of himself out there in United jerseys. And obviously, he was in some full support of his local Atlanta soccer team, man. He made a song for them, and they showed him a lot of love back. Now, the story says this also, that with the news of Eversol's death, came a viral clip that resurfaced of a football team singing We Ready in the locker room. Like, We Ready is just one of those chant type of songs. You know, it's an anthem, but you can chant it and everybody can get hyped, especially if you're about to go play a football game, basketball, whatever the sport. You know what I mean? Now, in quotes, it says, We Ready is a rallying cry for anyone facing an opponent. Eversaw created one of the most popular hype songs ever. But more importantly, he remained a man of the people who took smiling photos with every fan who ever approached him. So it seems like dude had a lot of love in the city, man. And it's sad in these situations, especially when there's a lot of rumors out there. You know, people might misconstrue what happened or what went down. And apparently Atlanta had a lot of love for Archie Eversall and he had a lot of love for Atlanta because even on his on his IG profile, you can see, or even his Twitter, him taking pictures with a lot of people, man. Like, he was obviously loved, man. So, I mean, no matter how this turns out, man, let's not forget that point, right? Now, the story ends by saying this. With Eversol's death, Atlanta has lost the physical presence of a large piece of its musical spirit. And I think that is well said because Archie Eversol, like I said, during the time that he came up in 2002, I know hip hop has had, has had the, saw, the, excuse me, the South at the helm. They've been at the top for a long time. I mean, it's been over a decade now. But there was a time when there was a Pastor Troy, a Archie Eversaw, a Ludacris, and guys like that who were 2002, they were trying to burst into the game, man. They were really trying to get in the game, knock down those walls. And catchy themes and songs that were this groundbreaking just helped do that. You know what I mean? So that, thank you for that to Archie Eversaw and, you know, his contribution to hip hop as a whole, man. But to be real, what do you guys think about this? Since it hasn't been confirmed by any official news source out there in Atlanta, and it's just being reported by either new uh, music publications or either by blogs, do you think that this is true? Or do you think that, you know, people wouldn't run with this if it wasn't true because it's not cool to be lying on somebody's death. Regardless, if it is true, rest in peace, Archie Eversaw. And with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.